What to do when a small Nippon test gets small basal shoots? You can obviously remove them and try to root them, but uh, the chances they survive are really minim. You could leave them on the small plants, but that may slow down the growth of this plant. But I have another solution to consider. So let's dive in. Hi, my name is Remy, and on this channel, I explain you everything I know about how to grow Nippon Tess on a windowsill. So if you're new, consider subscribing. Two months ago, I spot on my Nippon Tess a small basil. So I decided, well, uh, I cannot remove them because they are very tiny, but if I let them there, they will slow down the plant, and that's really a plant I want to, to grow strong and healthy. So I decided, let's see it in another way change the angle, I will remove the main stem and see if I can root the main stem, even if it's a really tiny one. Uh, that way, that should uh, allow the small basil to have all the, the power, the sap from the roots, so they will grow faster, the basils, but the main stem is big enough, I believe, to be uh, rooted. So uh, I should um, have just more plants. So let's see how it went. So here you see the main stem, uh, woody and dry. So it's uh, time to cut it, to give more space to the basil. And then I will just plug that on the side, uh, beside, not uh, too close because it will expand and the basil will also expand. So nothing really complex here, just plug that and really push the substrate against this stem. It has to stay moist. So I've counted many few basil on that stem, so I don't expect them to grow all at the same speed, but the main one should uh, grow properly. So it was three months ago at the beginning of August. So as you see, the basil really expand. Clearly the main stem survived, no problem. It was able to root. We can spot that uh, some old picture died, obviously. Uh, the plant uh, was uh, way too stressed to handle this kind of a uh, bonus energy. Uh, so the plant shut down all the pictures, uh, shorten all the leaves just to have more energy to grow new roots. So that was the thing. And now the new one, the new, that picture, but tangerine looks uh, healthy enough to really produce the first picture since the main stem was be removed. Uh, so uh, it's interesting to see that, yes, it was not too small to be rooted and uh, the small basil because all the energy from all the plants and the roots directly went to them. They were able to really get some good kick out of it. They, they didn't really um, catch up with the main stem, but still very much, uh, very strong. And uh, I believe in a few months, like six months or a year, it will be very hard to know who is the basil and who is the main stem. So that's gonna be interesting. And uh, again, more plants, uh, keep in mind that's a cutting. So it's a clone. If this plant is a female plant or a male plant, that's gonna be the same. And as it's an interesting cross, that's a plant I could easily um, get seeds from. If I'm able to cross that with another plant, like maybe, I don't know, Rob Cantliae Amara. So we will have more Amara and uh, the Rob will just uh, give a better peristome. Same for Vichy, I mean. Uh, so again, a good cross, uh, it's a keeper. Clearly, uh, I don't plan to sell this plant uh, or these uh, basils for a long time. So uh, I'm really happy that it turned out pretty good. So uh, if you have a small plant and that have small basil, you can remove the main stem. Again, if you have the proper condition, if you don't have the proper substrate or uh, not enough light, etc., I would not uh, try that. It's just because I have the proper light and the condition. Uh, and if you checked my video, I mean, you already know um, all 
about how to have the same condition at home. So um, yeah, let me know if uh, you already tried to remove the main stem of a small plant to root it, to give more energy to the small basil. And, um, and even if you decided to repot it separately, so you will sell one of uh, them or trade, it's always interesting to do. So um, yeah, I'm curious about it. So leave it that, uh, leave that in the comments and until next time, happy growing.